In this recording, I'd like to go a little beyond the contents of the book and talk about a special template called Normal. We've been talking about how to create your own templates, your own starting points. But as it turns out in Microsoft Word, every single document is created using a template. There's a special template called Normal so that when you create a document, in Microsoft Word, let's say I want to create a blank document, right? This document has some starting points. It has one inch margins. It is using Times New Roman 12. Now, if you do this on your computer, if you have not changed normal, it's very possible that this will be a, a different font, right? But I don't like those other fonts, those new ones that Microsoft keeps trying to force on me. So I switched my normal template so that whenever I create a new document, I create it using Times New Roman 12 with these margins with, let's see if I can get to the tabs here real quick, go to the tabs with default tabs set at a half, all kinds of things that we can change. If I wanted to, I could change my font color if I wanted all my text to be blue, not very common, but typically what you'll do in a in normal so that your blank document comes up set up the way you want it to work is to change the normal font, the normal template. So first thing we need to know is where's is that thing hidden? How does Microsoft Word know where to find it? The normal template is hidden in a special folder. So you need to open up my computer or the file Windows man file manager, go to C drive, go to users, and I'm logged as a user student here. And there you'll find, oh no, I don't. I don't see a folder called app data. That's where this is stored. The reason I don't see it is because it's hidden, and by default, Microsoft Word hides those, or not, not Word, excuse me, Microsoft Windows hides the hidden folders. So in this version of Windows, this is Windows 8, I'm going into View Options, Folder Options, and I'm going to go to the View tab. Now that View Folder Options may be hiding someplace else if you're using Windows 7, you might have to look around for it, do a little searching, but it's there in all versions of Windows. I'm going to go to View. And we come down here and it says show hidden files is off. I'm going to turn that on, click on OK. Now a whole bunch of other folders and files have shown up that were hidden to me. If that's uncomfortable for you seeing all those files, then you can always go right back into that dialog box and turn that option back off again when you're done with this. But here's my app data folder. In the app data folder, there's a roaming folder. In there, there's a Microsoft folder, oh my goodness. And inside there, there's a templates folder. And here's normal.dotm. DOTM, we haven't seen yet. The M stands for macros. The DOT is a template, but this is a macro-enabled template. In a future unit, you'll learn about macro-enabled documents as well in unit five. But for right now, there's my normal file. And notice it's just a template file. It's like any of the other templates that we just talked about. So I can modify this. What I'm going to do instead is rename it and call it my old normal. And now watch what happens when I start Microsoft Word. What happens if you start Word and there is no normal? If I open Word with no normal, Create a blank document. It works. Right, but notice my font is Calibri 11. My margins look like they're one inch. Right, but the line spacing, the paragraph spacing here has some space after the paragraph, etc. But let's go back and look. And notice that normal doesn't look like it's here yet. But as soon as I close Word, a new normal got created. Right. So if there is no normal, Microsoft Word sense, senses that, and it will create one using these predefined styles that Microsoft has dreamed up. And that's where the office style as a default comes from, and that's where paragraph styles, etc., come from. I can edit this. Now, I've left my old one here so I can put it back when I'm done, but I can edit this. It's a template. Remember, to edit a template, you right-click it and choose Open. I can tell that I'm modifying normal because it says normal up here and not document one. So now I can modify things here and I can change the font to Times New Roman. Just 
scroll ways, but change it to Times New Roman, and I like size 12. I don't like any extra spacing after my paragraphs. So I'm going to remove them. I also like single spacing, so I'm going to choose that. So now my document has all those spacings. And just so that we can see these changes kicking into effect, and oh, by the way, here's my normal paragraph. I need to change my style for normal to match that. Otherwise, my style is going to notice it's still got the old style to it. I'm going to right click on this and tell it to update the style to match. And now it's normal in Times New Roman. So my normal style is Times New Roman. If you forget to do that, it'll start your document in Times New Roman. But every time you choose normal, it puts it back to the Calibri font. And that's not something that I want. So this is Times New Roman. I can, just so we can see the changes, go in here and change the margins and make them actually, let's do it the other way where we do page layout margins to narrow. And when I do that, I also need to change my tab stops because my tabs in my header are in the wrong place now that I've got a wide one. So I need to pull this over and let's see it's a seven and a half so about seven and three quarters should be the center of the page right, so i've modified that and i can do just about anything i can even type text in here not a great idea to put that in normal but if you save that as your normal template and then create a blank document that's what you get one last thing i'm going to do is go back into the tabs property so I'm going to double click one of these because that opens the paragraph dialog box. I could just as easily have clicked this. Right. Go to tabs and I'm going to set the default tabs to three tenths of an inch because that to me looks better in numbered lists. The list from the numbers is not so far spread apart. Click on OK and then I'm going to hit save. Okay. And now I have a new normal. And every document that I create from now on using the blank document template has this text in it, has these margins in it, has tabs at three tenths. The font is that. If I change the font to heading one and then say, you know what, I want that to be normal, the normal font is Times New Roman 12, etc. You can do anything to the normal document that you want to modify the way your blank documents come up. Now before I forget, there are a couple of other things, another other ways that you can change normal. So for instance, I can go to the font here and say that Times New Roman Regular 12 is my font. And if I change that to 11, and then click this button that says Set as Default, I get an option that says, do you want to do it for this document? And this is just a safety catch because most of the time you don't want to change normal. You just want to change it for this document. Or do you want to change normal? Now this says all documents based on normal. What that really means is all documents in the future that are based on normal. Click on OK. This changed it to an 11, but if I close this now without saving it, do you want to save document one? No. And then create a brand new document. And by the way, I can do that just by double clicking on normal. It's a pain because it's so hard to find with that big old long path. If I create a brand new document using Microsoft Word, blank document, times New Roman 11. But what I forgot to do when I did that, when you do that, it changes the beginning font to Times New Roman, but the normal font is probably a size 12. Nope, it changed to 11 as well. So it changed the normal font in that case. The paragraph dialog box also has one of those set as default, so I can take out the spacing and set it as a default. I can change the line spacing to something other than single, set it as default. There's a few other things that have this set as default. What that means is change my normal template so from now on, when I create a blank document, it looks different. Hope that helps you understand normal. Don't forget that I, I recommend that when you do change normal that you take the old one and rename it. So in this case, I want to go back to my old one, so I'm going to delete this normal and rename that one so that I get my old normal back. That way, it's a nice safety catch. Name the old one to something like old normal, and that way if you really mangle the other one up, you can come back. Remember, you can also always come back to the fresh out of the box Microsoft Word normal, which is by deleting it, 
and start all over again.